Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Chinese people, she said, if they don't win, it's black man's fault. So we are the deciding factor. I think that's right. Can I ask you a question since you waved? Let me ask you a question. You got evidence. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you. You see how scared they are? You scared a black man. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris wants our vote. Nobody don't want to talk to black men, but they want to talk about black men. They want to talk down to black men. But when a black man stand and asking you about politics, don't nobody want to talk to us. Shut up and vote, nigga. Damn that. Damn that. That's what you want from us. Just shut up and vote. We ain't going to shut up and we ain't going to vote. I hope that broad loses. I hate to say it. I hope she loses so I can see the shame on your face. And I ain't supporting Trump. He's a goddamn racist and an insurrectionist. Right. He's a damn local terrorist, a homeborn terrorist to America's soil. Right. You really choosing the, the lesser of two evils between Kamala and Trump. But the way you are proud about that East Indian woman, the way you are proud about her, and you are looked down on black men, it's unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. You got it? Come on, come on. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. Go ahead. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Come on, man. They always talk about black men ain't this, and black men that, and black men can't do good. Barack Obama said, uh, what he said, um, Pookie ain't gonna know who to vote for. Yeah. He called black men Pookie. That old stinking bone-eating African. Right. That old bone-eating African called us Pookie. And not one politician said something. Where's Louis Farrakhan? Right. Right. Huh? Where's Tiddy Chase? Where's Creflo Dollar? Where Al Sharpton? Where they at? Huh? But let them say something about Jewish people. They all come out. Right. Oh, listen, I love the Jewish people. I love this. Where's your love for the real Jews? Right. Forget the ish. Where's your love for the real Jews? Right. Barack Obama calling us kooky is anti-Semitic. That's anti-Semitism. And nobody's saying a damn thing about it, man. Let's see what God said about black men. Read. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. All right. Even a man that the golden wedge of Ophir. God said he'll make a black man more precious than fine gold. And right now, Kamala Harris will pay big money to get black men to vote. You gonna tell me this Bible ain't real? Right. The Bible said in the days gonna come when God gonna make a black man more precious than fine gold. Right. Two weeks ago, black man, we wasn't shit. Now we all high value man. You go in your house, you tell your woman that you got a high value man now, woman. Right. Go ask Kamala Harris. Right. Talking about high value man this and high value man that, six figures what, six figures what. I got a vote, nigga. And that's the most precious thing to these heathens. That makes me more valuable than anybody else in the world. Look at God. Won't he do it? Won't he do it, man? You blame black men for everything, but you want us to help you get in office. What's he gonna do for me? Huh? What have you done for me lately, Kamala Harris? What have you done? Huh? Why isn't it the fault of the Asians who you put that bill in stop Asian hate? They got into office and they introduced a bill, Stop Asian Hate. Why isn't it the fault of the Asians if Kamala don't win? Right. Why ain't nobody ch charging these people in Chinatown if Kamala don't win? Right. Huh? 
Where, why isn't it the fault of the Koreans and the Japanese and the Thailand people if Kamala don't win? Why did Barack Obama say it's black man's fault? I'm gonna tell you why. Two main reasons. He knows that America loves when people beat up on black people, especially right. black men. Right. You wanna rise up in America? Throw black people under the bus, especially black men. Look at Steve Harvey. Right. I don't give a damn about slavery. Look at him now. Anytime you reject black people, America loves you. The second reason, Barack Obama knows white people love when you chastise black men. Right. White people absolutely salivate because white people cannot stand black men. We're too masculine for you. We're better than you. We're more moral than you. Yeah, you can't take it, can you? We're more lawful than you are. You could say we the real criminals. We ain't putting cracking cocaine into this country. We're not importing it. We're not bringing in the drugs and the guns. You the criminal of the earth. And you look at us like we're filth. And you fully enjoy when other nations beat up on us, chastise us. It motivates you. Kamala Harris wants you white people to go vote for her since she can't get our vote and she'll never get our vote. I'm asking you, who are you voting for? I'm, for, I'm voting for our king. I know who you don't vote for. I know who you don't vote for. And listen, I'm going to address you one time and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore you right after that. This, he got a big old fat white whale as a wife. And she come and she give him money all the time. And she pays him to come down here and interrupt the speaking. Don't give him too much shine. Notice he came out of nowhere because we're talking about our oppression. This is the zip cool right here. This is the 2024 zip cool. This is them stepping, fetching. This is Uncle Ruckus. I'm voting for a black man named Jesus Christ. I know you voting for whoever that big fat white whale you got in the house tell you vote for. I know you voting for her. I know you voting for her. But you want to interrupt us because we offend her. Because these strong black men rejected that piece of trash you got in the house. We rejected her. We didn't make her feel like she was gorgeous. But she got all four foot eleven of you slobbering up on that big old cankle. She ain't got an ankle, she got a cankle. <laughs> Bitch, big like a fridge, excuse my language. And you, you got the nerve to come down here and say some of the righteous black men? Go lay up under one of them arm folds she got home. <laughs> go put some old grease in that. Go to, go to Walgreens and get some pig lard and go up in them folds she got. You ain't gonna say nothing now, is it? Read, what you got? Okay. This book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 5. Uh -huh. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, uh -huh. nor the churl said to be bountiful. The vile person ain't going to be called liberal no more. Ain't going to be called free no more. Why? Because Kamala Harris wants to murder their babies, man. Kamala Harris wants to revoke, re revoke Roe v. Wade. She wants to repeal that whole thing. Listen, man, if you can't protect a child, how vile of a person are you? Right. How horrible of a person are you? Right. You're the most powerful person in the world, and you give a green light to right. babies? That's right. You're a disgrace. Right. You're an evil, vile animal. Right. You're an animal. Come on, let me ask you something. I see you, Mr. White Man. Let me ask you something. Who are you voting for? You're voting for Trump. Can I ask you why? Can I ask you why? Come a little closer. These men ain't gonna do you nothing. I've been, listen, I've been up here for about 35 minutes. And I'm asking DC who they're voting for, whether it's Trump or Kamala Harris, doesn't matter to me. I just, thank you, brother. That's where we stand. We ain't voting for none of them. But, but I, I just want to hear your reason. 
Okay, you like what he does for Israel? Okay. Can I ask you two of them policies? Give me two of Trump's policies that 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 are so important to you that made you vote for him, want to vote for him. Fuck Trump. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Fuck Trump. I hear you. But hold on, hold on, bro. Let him talk. I'm just asking him a question. I ain't supporting Trump either. I'm with you. I'm with you too. I'm with you. Damn right, huh? Damn right. What do you got to say? Hold on, hold on. Everybody peeing means something. I got you. Let me get your policy. No, what's his policy? Not what he did or what he said he going to do. Policies with numbers and what what they, you know, proposition this and... Uh huh. Policy. Uh huh. What's the policy? That's what I'm saying. Bring no to, to bring back energy independence. That's the policy. The whole, whole. By letting them drill. By letting them do what they've got to do. Drill away. And who's that? Remove the restrictions. I'm from California. We can't do jack shit in California. Jack shit about what? About anything. They, they regulate everything we want to try to do. Okay, so so then what what is Trump doing by for people in California in terms of policies? Tell this guy to back off my case. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. See, that's what he wants. If you vote for Donald Trump, he really is supporting these white people. You see that? Right. Y'all must I'm be sex offenders. All y'all sex offenders. To show him his hypocrisy. And there comes Zip, Zip Coon. Sambo O Coon. Y'all think he's harassing them white people. But he's really doing this in the spirit. Oh, massa. Massa, don't talk to them, massa. Don't catch a trade, massa. That's what he's doing in the spirit, man. You just let that white man off the hook. You just let him off the hook, man. I'm trying to show black people how hypocritical white people are. And you just saved the white man. You just saved him. How you feel about yourself now, zip coon nigga? <laughs> oh, read it. I got number last for you, bro. Verse six. For the poor person will speak violently. Listen, and let me tell you something. The white man said he likes what Trump is doing for Israel. What about what they should be doing for us? What about, has America done anything for black people? Did, did the Jewish man fight in America's World War II? World War I? Did a Jewish man build America? Did a Jewish man pick America's cotton? Did the Jewish men fight in their wars? Did the Jewish men be slaves for America? Why should America continue giving Israel billions of dollars and ignoring black people, the real Jews? Because the real Jews are black. You Jewish, you something like a Jew, but you ain't no real Jew. The real Jews is black. But you like what Trump is doing for Israel. I like what God is gonna do to all of you. That's right. Thank you, brother. I like what God is planning to do to all of you. Let me get that, man. Let me get their tongues going to burn out their heads. Let me get that. Keep reading. Number God. For the vile person will speak violently, and his heart will work iniquity. For the vile person will speak villainy. And that's them liberals. That's that Kamala Harris. And that Joe Biden. And that Waltz. That Governor Walsh, isn't it in Minnesota they say um, they could have bought the baby later in the third trimester? I think it's Minnesota. And New York, you could have bought a baby in the third trimester. You could put a, a full grown person to death just because you don't want to be a mother no more. And you want to vote for Kamala Harris? Don't you love your children? Well, what about those babies being aborted? Don't you know abortion is murder? You're talking about, about health care and woman care and feminine care. Let me tell you something about feminine care. You don't want to get pregnant? Keep your legs closed. You don't want to deal with a baby? Keep your legs closed. That's feminine care. That's health care. You know how much diseases you're going to escape by keeping your legs closed? You ain't going to commit no abortions and commit murder. But Kamala Harris going to let you do whatever you want. Yeah, drag him off. I understand. You don't like it. You don't like it. You don't like it. You can't defend Kamala Harris 
And when we hit you with the truth, you want to drag him away. I don't know what nationality he is, but he a man. And he's supposed to know that you got to rule over these women, man. Imagine women now are given the green light to commit abortions. To, come to murder a baby. What can a baby do to you? Can a baby strangle you? Can a baby stick you with a knife? Huh? What can a baby do to you that's so vile? I know what a baby can do. It can rule hot girl summer. A baby can rule hot girl summer. A baby can make sure you ain't going to them trips to Dubai no more. So because you want to go be a freak all over the earth, you got to a child. You are a speaking villainy. Read it again. For the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. And his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. How can you call abortion health care? That's hypocrisy. You don't give a damn about the baby's health if you're killing the baby. You don't give a damn about the child's health if you're in the child. But you don't want to hear that though. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear it's okay to go murder the child. You want to hear it's okay to commit abortions. You want to hear it's okay. You could have a, a good Saturday night and go murder a baby Sunday morning. That's what you want to hear. You're a hypocrite. And you're vile and disgusting, just like Kamala Harris. Read. And to utter error against the Lord. And to utter what? Error. And to utter what? Error. Go ahead. Against the Lord. In the back of the dollar bill, you said, in God we trust. In God we trust. But you trust in the abortion clinic. You utter error against the Lord. You want to God's chosen people. Why don't you put Planned Parenthood down there in Libya? Why don't you put Planned Parenthood down there in Palestine? Surely, surely they don't need to be having babies right now. Surely they don't need to be having it. Why don't you say, let the Gaza Strip get Planned Parenthood? Huh? Why don't you give Planned Parenthood to the people in Ukraine? Why don't you give them feminine health care? Let them their babies. Why are you always pushing babies on us? Because you're a vile monster, just like Kamala Harris. Just like Kamala Harris. And you gonna vote for her because you done babies yourself. You done committed abortions yourself. And ain't nobody called you out on it. Ain't nobody told you you was wrong for what you did. And you don't give a damn. So you go around more babies. God gonna require your blood, man. God is going to require your blood for all them babies. You're you got a scripture? Go ahead. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and sorry, chapter 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. I fought against who? Jerusalem. Against who? Jerusalem. Fought against Jerusalem. Y'all think they're talking about that physical place? Jerusalem is God's people, man. God's people are blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right? We the real Jews. We are 12 tribes of Israel. And God is going to send a plague for all you heathens that have ever fought against God's people. You white people, you on the top of the list. You enslave God's chosen people and us horrendously. You Africans, you next. You done sold us to these white people and come over here and continue to oppress us. You East Indians. You Arabs, you Ethiopians, this is the plague that God is going to send to you. Read. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Say it again. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What is so hot to make your flesh melt off of your bones? Huh? All you educated Negroes, all you educated white people, what is so hot to make, read it again. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Go ahead. And their eyes shall consume away in their homes. What, what's so hot to make your flesh melt and to make your eyes melt in their eye sockets? 
I'm going to tell you what. Thermonuclear war. Right? Right. ICBM missiles. Right. That's coming to this place, man. That's coming to all these cities all over the world. God wants it. Why? Because you fought against Jerusalem. You fought against Jerusalem. You destroyed God's people without a conscience. You don't care about black people. Right. Only when it's time to vote. Only when it's time to entertain you in your arenas. Only when it's time to sing your song. Only when it's time to go to fight a war. God gonna bring war to you. God gonna bring death to you. God gonna abort you, white man. God gonna abort you, African. God gonna abort you, East Indian. You don't got mercy on our babies. God ain't gonna have mercy on you anymore. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. And what? And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. The Bible says your tongue going to consume away in your mouth. Right. It's going to melt your mouth. It's going to be so damn hot. Your tongue is going to melt away. What? Why? Because of everything you say against God. Everything you say against God. God is going to get his revenge, man. God ain't going to let this empire continue no more.